Hi, Taurus. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, psychic seer and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for March 2023. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in March and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising, and Taurus Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in this reading. All that being said, Taurus, now on to your March 2023 Psychic Tarot Reading. First card you have, Taurus, is the Death card. This is transformation, something ending so something new can begin. Some of you could be reviving a career, uh, maybe a career you used to do a long time ago. It could be also, some of you could be reviving a old partnership in a business or in a love relationship. You may go back to school and take uh, refresher courses or take some new classes or training in the month of March. You may be really ready to plow ahead. You may feel like you have to hold your own against competition. You may feel quite brazen. You may feel like you're moving on from the past or you want to be uh, more brave and brazen about how you do things and what you say. Uh, more so than what you were in the past. Some of you may feel like you have to re end a relationship with somebody that was difficult or was giving you the runaround in some way. You may have felt like you have to put yourself first now. Maybe it was a mentally abusive or emotionally abusive relationship. It could have been physically abusive for some of you, but I feel more like mental and emotional abuse. I feel like you've learned a lot of how to deal with emotional problems, things that were Things that were negative that were driven up in that relationship, if that applies to you, you actually learned a lot out of from that. There could also be something, if you were in a field or some kind of job where you had to do a lot of research about something, that research may be dead now and that you can't extract anything out of it or it's not useful now. So you have to move on from it. You're making great strides to heal your life and to change your life and to develop your life in some way, in a new way. Some of you have actually come up with some great new ways to make money. And you may have found it on the internet or through books or from listening to podcasts or other things on the internet. And now you're going to put it to good use. It could have even been through webinars and seminars or classes that you took. But whatever you learned how to, you know, up your game, uh, make new income or in new ways, you're going to utilize them now. The next card you have in your reading is the emperor. This is a, pater a strong paternal figure that's crossed over to the other side, watching you, guiding you, protecting you. Uh, you could get ideas and inspirations now that could feel like they're coming to you, but they could actually be coming from the emperor. So this could be a strong male figure that's deceased. It could also be a strong male figure in the living 
It could be a father, grandfather, great grandfather, somebody like a father figure to you, a brother, an uncle, a boss, an ex-husband, a current husband, an ex-boyfriend, a current boyfriend. It could also um, be you. You could be the emperor. There's often strong Aries energy around the emperor, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're an Aries. Uh, it could be they could be Aries rising or Aries moon, not necessarily Aries sun. This could be somebody in your life that's a strong male figure or has strong male energy and they're giving you a pep talk. Like you have to come up with some new thoughts, new ideas, new plans, and don't be afraid to do it. Uh, like don't be afraid to try new things, get yourself out there. This could be a somebody that was domineering or controlling to you that um, may have been also in control of the finances and you may be breaking away from them. Remember, these cards are going to bring up multiple uh, messages. So for some of you, this is somebody giving you a pep talk. For some of you, this is somebody that was domineering and controlling and had control over finances. This is somebody that you could look at and feel like they've created a lot of havoc in your life or just in general. They may be just the type of person that just tends to create havoc wherever they go. They may look to you like you're linked to them and that you're going to do what they want you to do. Uh, so they could still still feel very controlling or they may be wanting wanting to be controlling over you you may have to take things they say to you with a grain of salt in march and just move on now remember there's many different messages here so taurus your job is going to be to sort it out and if you're taurus son and this doesn't resonate with you, I highly recommend you watch your rising sign because I could be really talking to Taurus sun sign and moon sign here more strongly than Taurus sun. I don't know that because it is a general reading. For some of you, this emperor person uh, or a strong personality or male figure could or male energy person uh, could come across very... Um, as very like arrogant this month. They could even be telling you to stop looking into things that are none of your business. If this is somebody you're connected to romantically or in some other way, they may have uh, things that they don't want you to know about for some of you. And they may feel like if you dig or you snoop or you you know, probe into stuff that you may find out things that they don't want you to know about for some of you. But the next card you have in your reading is the six of rods. And this is victory after a battle. So remember in these tower readings that I do here, oh, I just got waves from somebody in the spirit world. Woo like that means a deceased loved one. My spirit guides don't do that. That's a deceased person here. Um, that these cards, sometimes the messages stand alone and they all mean different things, but sometimes they're intertwined with each other. If you had applied for a job or a position that you've been waiting for, you're finally going to get that job or position. Some of you may even have the ability now to uh, retire from your job or something, retire from something. You could also be creating something new that's going to be very successful. So if you're starting any new jobs or new businesses or new creative endeavors, they could be very successful for you now. And your pride is really going to shine through in whatever you're doing. Like, your confidence, your pride in your work or your abilities or pride in your um, 
knowledge, talents, and skills, it's going to shine forth strongly in March. And making a new start in some way that's going to be very motivational to you and really get you like jazzed up to get going, like really feed your fire. It's like throwing coal in the engine of a train. It's going to really uh, propel you forward. Also, if you've had any kind of confusion about something like a direction you wanted to take or uh, confusion about, uh, and that could be direction you want to take in a job, a business, uh, a relationship, you're going to be real clear about it now. You're not going to be confused about what you're, you know, what you're doing. If you had had anybody cast blame or doubt or try to shoulder some, like I said, some kind of blame on you, you're going to come out that you were right. Like you're the victor. Like they you're going to be victorious after that. You're coming out of that now. You're going to feel like, like a real boost, a real energetic boost and a boost to your confidence and your ego. So the next card you have in your reading today is the fool. And this is starting out on a new path and a new journey with high hopes and high aspirations, but you have to have your wits about you and not have on rose-colored glasses because you could fall off the cliff. So even though it's good, it's a new journey, you have to be grounded in reality. You don't want to be like a fool and not pay attention and ah, fall off the cliff. Some of you are adjusting to new and changing circumstances at work or within your family. There could be somebody that gets a proposal of engagement of marriage. It could be coming to you or you could be doing the proposing or it could be to one of your kids or siblings or one of your parents if they are no longer married uh, or if, you know, and they are getting together with somebody new. You're going to relish in the fact that you were right about so many things so you may have been giving predictions or advice or calling it like, uh, you watch and see, this is what it's going to be. And um, you, you could be reveling in the fact that you're right. This could even be if you're a gambler and you made bets, placed bets on, you know, sports teams or horse races or whatever. Some of you could get a promotion at your job that's then going to enable you to travel or that you are, um, it could be if you have your own business and you're starting to expand it or your business is growing, you may need to do some kind of traveling for your business. Now that doesn't always have to mean you're traveling to a land far, far away or across the country you live in. That could be local travel, like a state city, town, or province away. It doesn't mean you're traveling uh, from one side of, like I said, one side of the country or the world to the other. Although that could be for some of you, depending on what kind of business you have. There could be real opportunities for you in March to show off what you know. That could be at a new job. That could be at your current job. That could be... Um, if you enter any kind of contests or competitions, it could also be um, if you're giving any teaching, lecturing, any seminars, speeches. And you could be really figuring out like what works for you uh, and sorting out like what works for you now and what doesn't and then putting the polish and finishing touches on things like 
if you're starting a website or starting a business or if it has to do with your appearance um, or something to do with your environment, your home or your business itself. You may be putting a lot of finishing touches on things, polishing it up, making things, you know, like um, upgrading things and making, and making improvements. So the last card you have in your reading is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is two people that are intertwined with each other that have past reincarnation relationship that you've reincarnated in this lifetime to solve karma. You could be together until the end of your days, or you could argue and split up, but you're still sol solving karma together. Sometimes this could indicate a love relationship. Sometimes this connection is not. It's not always a romantic love connection. Um, Six of Cups can also mean uh, fond childhood memories and children. Some of you may be learning to cope with some kind of status change. Like... I was talking about in the death card, maybe you're ending a relationship that was potentially problematic or abusive or controlling that, um, and now you've got to contend with like how it's rolling out now, like that they're not there anymore or that that relationship ended or it changed in some way. Some of you could make a connection with somebody in March that you're going to tell all your secrets to and, and like your past or your wishes, your hopes and dreams um, and, and secrets of other types as well. You may be doing that with somebody this month. If you had been fighting or arguing with somebody about little things, could have been about your home, could have been about other issues, it gets settled in March where you're not, you know, you're going to bury the hatchet. You're not going to be bickering and fighting about this little thing and that little thing and going round and round about it. Maybe it was about moving or home improvement or, you know, whatever you're it's settled now you're not going to argue about it you may find yourself really it depending on the climate where you live you could be planting flowers in your garden now or doing things to landscaping or doing things externally to your home or place where you live to improve it and make it look better You can find a, a lot of uh, commonality with someone and generating a good, strong spiritual connection with somebody. For some of you, this could be somebody you're just meeting in March. For some of you, you may have known them before and they re-enter your life in March. And for some of you, that could mean from a past life they're coming back in, or you could have known them earlier in this lifetime. You could be really harmonizing very well with somebody, making beautiful music together, really uh, having good chemistry and clicking with somebody. Perhaps this is somebody you are already intertwined with. And you're just getting along really well this month. For others of you, this could be somebody new coming in. For some of you, it's romantic, but for some of you, it's not. You could just be finding a best friend or somebody that you can really commiserate with and get along with. And um, But for, for many of you, this will be a love relationship. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Taurus is to work with, use, and wear in the month of March 2023 is Amazonite and Leo. I haven't done all the signs yet, but Leo also got Amazonite and I'm going to spell it because people have asked me to in the past. It's A-M-A-Z-O-N-I-T-E. Amazonite is a stone of truth, hope, and flow. It brings clarity and calm. It dispels negative energy and can protect 
from EMFs, which is electromagnetic frequencies. It has great healing abilities and it's associated with luck and overall success and money. It, it is a stone that's going to like ensure your success. So I highly recommend if you have to do any kind of business dealings or negotiations or work projects, wearing or having Amazonite on you, on your person will be beneficial to you in March. It's also going to make you look better and like feel better also just all the way around energetically, physically. It's also going to be a stone that will be helpful for you mentally. If there's things of paperwork or other things that you need to understand, like looking at legal documents or looking at contracts of some sort or uh, just anything or new work or new projects you need to do, directions, instructions. This is going to help give you a lot of mental clarity in the month of March. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo On Demand videos, you can access the most recently recorded videos by clicking on the link down below in the description box in the show more section. And you can also access these links by going to my website, theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos page. You can scroll down and read all the different video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for, and you just click under that video series that you want, any zodiac sign you want, and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. I'm going to name some of my most recently recorded videos. My first one is Saturn in Pisces, Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings. These predictions go from March of 2023 through May of 2025. Saturn spends two and a half, three years in each sign. It depends. It's different for every sign. That's the time period for those predictions. So you may want to see how Saturn in Pisces will affect you. I highly recommend getting your rising sign and your sun sign in that video series. My big love readings for 2023 for singles and couples are available they're chock full of information. The first half of the reading focuses on the single people of your zodiac sign. And the second half of the reading focuses on the coupled people of your sign. I highly recommend watching the entire video because there will be some crossover that the messages will apply to you in either side of the video. The next video series that's fairly new is my New Year 2023 Psychic Tarot readings for each sign of the Zodiac. If you haven't checked them out yet, there's 16 cards in total and it covers a wide variety of topics in that video, in those videos. As I said, 16 cards, there's a lot to cover there. Also, my Psychic Crystal readings for 2023. Let me tell you, I've had great feedback from those readings. People have asked me in the past, would I ever do psychic crystal readings for the year? I never did that before because I always did the tarot readings. These crystal readings I thought were awesome. I hope you check them out. Also, don't forget, you're still being affected by the eclipses that happened in October of 2022 and November of 2022. Those eclipses last for six months, but in those video series I recorded, those predictions went out even past that. And some astrologers do say sometimes the effects can last for a year. So you might want to get my eclipse effects from the solar eclipse in Scorpio, October 25th, 2022, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. And you could get my 
full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, November 8th, 2022, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. Those predictions and messages are still in effect and you are still being affected by them. I think those predictions went all the way out until June of 2023. So you might want to check them out. Also, don't forget my psychic crystal readings for the month of March, 2023, that I do an expansion of the readings I do here. I give a lot of various predictions and messages covering a wide range of topics. You may really want to check your psychic crystal readings out for March. Uh, also, my horseshoe tarot spread, seven card spread tarot readings are available. And lots of people like that series. Whenever I post the horseshoe tarot spreads, people snap them up. They love those predictions. There's a lot of messages and predictions there in those seven cards. If you would like to help support the work I do here and the readings I do on YouTube, there's a donation link down below in the description box. It's connected to PayPal. Thank you so much to those of you who have been so kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does help me a lot and it does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much for your kind donations. Also, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on a video on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I use tarot cards, oracle cards, occasionally the crystal, and I write five paragraphs of predictions and messages. Many people find they resonate with them. You may find parts of it or all of it resonate with you. I would absolutely love to see you on my social media pages. So please be sure to check them out. So I hope you have an absolutely marvelous March of 2023 to all the signs of the Zodiac out there. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.